Hey, welcome back to Driven Channel, and we're here back with Driven Couples, and today we're going to wake everybody the fuck up. <laughs> like, all of you spectators, you guys got to wake up, man. You got to stop watching the news, and you got to start making the news. You got to become players, all right? Players get paid. Spectators pay. So wake up, <laughs> stop. Like, you don't, you're not going to make money in the office. You're not going to make money at the house. Are we good? Yeah, we're, you guys are not good watching this. You guys have to get you, you guys have to go out there to the marketplace and get paid. Because if you're in the office, in the house, at Starbucks, you ain't making any money. You're doing something wrong. So in this economy, this economy forced everybody to become salespeople. Mm -hmm. All right? So you got to sell or you're going to die. So you either sell or you die. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips right now how to make money. I make a lot of money. I make so much money that, man, it's unbelievable. But <laughs> I'm gonna let Sil talk a little bit and, and then um, I'm gonna just give you everything you need to know about sales. So if you are watching this, you're broke, maybe you used to make money in 2021, maybe you were a loan officer or a realtor and things are not working right now. And listen to this, you, don't, you can't afford to miss this. You're gonna get like 45 minutes of how to become a millionaire in this market, all right? So, Seal, go for it. Hey, guys. So, yeah, I mean, like Albert said, sales are key. You know, in sales, there's really no cap. You can work as much and as hard as you want, and, you know, you get better and better with time. But, you know, the best people the, that make the most money are definitely in sales, and it's luckily a skill that can be taught and it can be learned right so there's a lot of books there's a lot of um stuff you can watch to get you know some training but yeah albert's a master salesperson here i'm the daddy in sales a hundred percent of your growth depends on sales right when people like like accountants financial advisors uh cpas attorneys whatever they they are not business people they're they're not like they're just they just collect a, pay a paycheck they're just getting paid for the hour that's all they are they get paid for the hour if they were business people they would they would have their own business they would be entrepreneurs they would have a multi-million dollar business they would want to build a billion dollar business their job is just to give you the information and you make the decision so look when people like that start giving you advice, maybe your wife, maybe your husband, maybe your mommy and your daddy or your brother or your sister, they're giving you advice. Hey, you know what? Ugh, the economy's bad. Cut expenses. Let go of your Ferrari. Let go of your Bentley. Let go of your Rolls Royce. Let go of your Lamborghini. You should cut expenses. Look, you're not going to grow your business by cutting expenses. The answer is not cut expenses the answer is not get a smaller office the answer is not cut people people are assets not liabilities you you if the only way an employee is going to cost you money is if you don't get rid of them because if you have an employee that's costing you money you got to get rid of them quick employees are supposed to make you money they're assets so if you have the wrong one get rid of him get rid of her but you're never going to grow a business you're never going to get out of a funk by cutting expenses. The answer is always make more income. Make more income. If you're doing a live for one hour and you're making 10,000 bucks an hour, then do a second live, make 20 grand an hour. Then why not do three or four lives oh, no. a day? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five lives a day. Mm -hmm. Just just go for it. Trust it. Like I was thinking today, you know what? I'm just going to be doing streaming all day. All day. I'm going to take a break for the restroom. I'm going to take a break for the gym. I'm going to take a, a break for sex. And I'm going to be just streaming, just getting business, making money. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make money. I'm going to be streaming. Why would I cold call, door knock, or go visit a place, drive, if I can reach millions of people in one hour online on social media? You know, there's 5 billion people on social media. 5 billion people. And that's 65% of the world, okay? There's going to be 6 billion there's going to be six and a half billion. Pretty soon, eight bi pretty soon, everybody in the world is going to be on social media. I have a commitment 
to 8 billion people. That's why I'm streaming all day. I'm gonna stream all day now. So I, I'm, I might just be streaming at all times. Maybe you stream sex. <laughs> but but like if, if you We're guys if you guys are not making sex. money right now, it's because you're doing the wrong thing. Stop cutting expenses, stop giving up your car, stop punding, stop punding your Pony. Rolex. Ponding. Ponning. Oh, ponning. Yes. All right. Excuse me. I'm Mexican as you guys can see. So stop pawning your Rolex, your Rolex Cito. Stop pawning it. Get the watch back, get the Ferrari back, get the Bentley back, and get, get the Lamborghini work. back, and get to fucking work. Stop being lazy asses. Like, stop being lazy asses and work. Because if you work, that's why I call it, they call it work because it works. Mm -hmm. So get to work and change. Because whatever you used to do before does not work anymore. So you got to watch the people that are winning right now and be like, why are they doing different things? Why are they doing all these crazy things? Well, maybe you should copy what they're doing because if you find something that works, copy it. Triple down on it. Do what works more. Look at your RO, what's giving you the best ROI? Like I just, I'm excited right now because I just got a badass speaker for um, the business summit. The, the business bootcamp is now the business summit and we're going on year five. So I'm pretty damn excited because I'm fucking winning. Winning feels good. Having money feels good. Having choices feels good. Having a choice w where I don't know which exotic to drive. Having a choice where, you know what? My office is so big that I don't know if I want to work today from one room or the other one or one <laughs> of the 100 rooms we have in this fucking huge ass <laughs> office because life is good. You know, life is really good. To whom much is given, much is expected. <laughs> right? That's why he's he's working. He's 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 focused, and we're super I'm, excited. I'm in shape. <laughs> I'm lean. Yeah, yeah. I was getting scolded the other day, so I had to start sprinting again. But and and cutting all my calories because what you don't track, what happens, Albert? If you don't track something, what happens? It doesn't improve. It doesn't it grow. Doesn't it doesn't improve. get better. Right. And sometimes you don't realize that you're eating here, you're eating there, you're picking here, you're picking there, and then yeah, I don't know how the day ends up as far as calories go, but. Totally focused. Um, we're really excited about Driven uh, Summit. It's going to be amazing. Boot camp is coming. We have like so many events. I don't even know what day it is. What day is it, Maria? July 20th and 21st. No, but what day is it today? Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> April 23rd. Got it. Yeah, every day is just crazy, you know, and I... I really encourage all of you to, you know, stay really focused on what you're doing and focus on your MMAs, money making activities, because most people waste so much time all day. It's crazy. And if you don't address it, you don't handle it, you know, you, the whole day passes and you're like, what the hell did I do? You know, I think that's one of your strengths is that no matter what's going on, literally the building could be falling apart and he'll still do his. Whatever. I'll close a cell. I'll close a deal. Yeah, he'll still close the deal. Then I'll get out. And then he'll get out. <laughs> Assuming you don't get trapped inside. <laughs> you you always have to know, like, pivot. Yeah. Like, yeah, go under, right. go above, go under, like, go around. Like, just do it differently. Right. See, this is why why life is bad, okay? Life is bad for a bunch of people. You guys know that? Yes. Life is bad for a bunch of people. Life is good for some people. Life is great for the few what i mean by the few the one percenters of the one percenters let's just say the half percenters because 99.5 percent of the world is going to be average so if you want to make money right now you don't it's no longer a one percenter the new one percenter is now the half percenter so you want to be a half percent because the one percenter is out you got to be a half percenter I'm a half percenter. There's not a lot of half percenters in this world. What's half a percent of 8 billion? Hmm. <laughs> what is it? 400, I thought you were good at math. 400,000? <laughs> what, what, what is half a percent of 8 billion, uh, Mrs. College graduate? I didn't go to college. Oh, you didn't? Oh, uh, you Andrew did. Only Andrew did? Is it 4 billion? No. No, half a percent. I of, said 400,000. So for a billion, you got to turn the calculator like to the sideways. So eight billion. <laughs> 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 
we just know how to collect checks. So a half a percenter, there's there's 40 million people. Is that what you said? I said 400,000. So 40 million? 40 million people. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. So 40 million people are half percenters. That's a lot of people, 40 million. So that should give a lot of you hope. It actually does. I, I think it gives a lot of people hope, you know, and realistically speaking, when something's not working, you really have to look at yourself and say why. You know, I don't know who I was talking to the other day, but I was telling them most people are not willing to change. Most people do the same thing over and over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And even if they know what their problem is, like they drink too much, they sleep too late, they wake up late, everybody knows what is wrong with them, right? Now, whether we correct that behavior or not is entirely up to us, right? Because if we don't correct the behavior, we're always gonna get the same result. So at that point, we lose the privilege of complaining. You're not allowed to complain if you're not willing to change, you know? So it's like you get what you get because of what you give. And that's just how life goes. You know, there's no handouts for the people that are entitled that think everybody owes them something. Nobody owes us anything. The only people, person we should expect anything from is ourselves. That's it. You know, maybe our moms when we're little and, you know, we're take, getting taken care of. But other than that, I'm like, whatever it is, it's entirely up to us. Period. <clears throat> you know the biggest misconception about money? Mm. That, like, I don't know why people get so stressed over money. You know why I don't get stressed ever, Maria? I don't get stressed about money. Because you focus on making money. No, because there's a, big, a there's a big misconception of money. Whenever I need money and I don't want to use my money or I, I need money and I don't have the money, I make money. I, I just take money from somebody else. Right. Like money is, the money is not yours. If you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, my money, I have, I have money in the bank or I have this amount of money, it's not yours. It's just money that you have there laying there that somebody else is going to take from you. Like I take people's money. In the morning, I took people's money. You sold the product. Which I is took different. people's money. They, it's yeah. like basic uh, English for people. Mm -hmm. Language. You take people's money. I take other people's money. I take other people's money and then I give money to you. I give money to Andrew. I give money to um, Maria. I give money to Michelle. Like I take uh, it, that money is not my money. I'm just taking it away from the universe, from other people. I'm taking their money. And, I'm, and then I'm using the money however I want. I'm giving money to my friends and I'm buying whatever I want to buy. <laughs> Getting Ferraris, Rolls Royce, wh whatever. The money is not yours. It, right. it just moves around. That's why when an idiot wins the lottery, mm. they lose it. It goes back right. to the hands of people that are smart. Right. People that are closers. You got to be closer. Like I, I can take everybody's money. Like I, I, can, I can convince everybody here to give me money. <laughs> go I closed Maria not too long ago like to get me the Uber I closed her you did not I did that because I cared about both you did you did, did, did you pay for me but you didn't ask me to yeah I did no you didn't yeah I closed you oh. did you pay yes or no check the cameras did, did you pay yes or no <laughs> that's mine oh did, did, did I did I did you pay yes or no yes. that's different that okay. doesn't even make sense no well you Sorry. got you guys look I got we the get money. The point. I got the money from Maria. Like I could get money from anybody. Well, it's like when you get Anthony Ubers. Yeah, you don't want him to die on the way home, right? Look, we're talking about big money. We're talking okay. about getting money. Like <laughs> I, I, are not big I money. got money in the morning, and and I, I get money every day to move the money around. Like right. money, money is is not yours. That's the thing. It's like, borrowed. People think that that. I I work for money. No, you you could take you take other people's money. Right. It's not yours. Agreed. Like how did how did um Grand Cardone get all those apartments? He took money from other people. Right. People are so worried about like making a certain amount of money in a month when they could ask somebody for one hundred thousand dollars or for one million dollars. I know. You yeah. see me like you. You see me collect like. <laughs> if you're six, willing to ask. You see me collect six figures like. You don't know. On the phone call like that. You, haven't you seen me do that, Maria? It's easy. So why doesn't everybody do it? Why are people so concerned? Well, I want to make this much monthly income. 
well, why don't you make that monthly income in one day? Take somebody's money. All right. Just go out there and ask people, give me the, give me, give me the money. That's what, that's what I do. I, and then what happens is people, they try and then they're like, oh, it's hard. They said no. I don't think it's hard. I think a lot of people, people are scared. People don't want to be aggressive. To collect, right. People, people are scared to, to collect and they're scared of having those types of conversations where you're asking for money because they're embarrassed because they care what people think about them. They don't want to bug. They, no, they don't know how to ask. Right. You, you're not going to ask just, you're not going to go to a random chick and just ask her, hey, let's have sex. You got to know how to ask. Right. Just like you're not going to go to like any investor and be like, hey, give me a hundred grand. It doesn't work like that. You have to know how to ask. Mm -hmm. That's the art of selling, of closing. So like it's people don't know how. Why, why can some people like, like why can, um, wh why did I have a salesperson that struggled uh, to sell like 4,000 bucks, 5,000 bucks? And then I just ask and I get 30K like this. Because of the way you asked? Because you need, you need to know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, people look at me and they're like, why, why is Albert uh, doing two lives in the morning now for one hour? And what, why is because Because I'm asking people for money. I'm taking their money. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking their money. Like, and and, and I'll, I'll say it here and I'll do it again tomorrow morning. I'll take more money. But I give value back. Right. Like if you take people's money and you don't give value back. It's not like you're stealing. It's different. I'm That's why I said you're no, stealing, selling a product. Stealing and I don't steal people's money. I take people's money and I give them value. Right. If you don't give them value, then they're going to ask for refunds. Mm-hmm. I but, agree. but 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 I'm, but I'm I'm on like my 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 commitment right now it, it like my commit like people say well uh I'm I'm committed to my family my my kids my parents like those people think small you know those people are are um they're they're selfish mm -hmm. cuz like they should be committed to 8 billion people like when I'm when I'm streaming every single day I'm streaming I'm doing lives, I'm streaming. That's because I have a commitment to communicate with 8 billion people. That's why I'm doing that. I know. And, and people criticize me, but I'm making more money than them. Of course, otherwise they wouldn't be criticizing you. <laughs> like they're, they're criticizing me, but I have five businesses. Right. So like my point is that, hey, just like I'm taking people's money, you can take other people's money. So when, you're, when you have a client in front of you, you gotta know how to communicate. So look, I'm gonna give you a book. It's an old book. You probably heard it already, but everybody here should go and buy this book and read it over and over again. How to Win and Influence Friends mm -hmm. by Dale Carnegie. I'm writing a book right now that I'm gonna write. I'm, it's gonna be done in um, in a week. This book. I'm gonna, After I'm gonna, this week, I'm so gonna, two weeks. No, I'm gonna self-publish this book. I'm, I'm, it's gonna take me like three hours to write this book. It's it's called Sell or Die. Because in today's economy, you got to sell or you will die. Mm -hmm. So when you need money, go on the internet and sell. Because if you're selling face to face, you're limited to less people. Right. But if you go online, social media, there's 5 billion people on social media. That's a lot. I just created an ad right now. Big tip for you guys. You want to you wanna get, you want to make sales? Well, collect data collect get cell phones and get emails how do you do that because if you buy leads worse i'm giving so much value right now huh like should i tone it down a notch Here, let, let, let me let, I'll, I'll save that one let, let's have sale give some value about sales yeah i I, I, mean, I think i'm giving too much value if you don't sell someone else is gonna sell it's what i tell all no but what why, why why is buying ads the stupidest thing you could do why i don't think it's stupid i think it is stupid I think it why, why is it stupid? on the ads how well they're run, how well they're put together, no. and who they're being pushed to. What I meant is, why is buying leads? My bad. Oh, why, is, like, why, why, is, why is buying leads the stupidest thing you could do? It depends on the leads, and it depends on the people closing the leads. No, because why, not is everybody can leads, why is buying leads stupid? Lead why to an actual why is having silo, silo uh, leads? Why, why is that stupid? I don't think it's stupid. It I'm is stupid. stupid. Why is it stupid? You don't know the answer? Do you know the answer? See, she knows because she's with me. She's getting smarter <laughs> and, and because she's with me more than you are. Yeah, I So she's with that. me more than you are. So she's getting I smarter. I told her that. No, you, I, you couldn't answer it right now. 
I don't think it's stupid. It's stupid because when you buy leads Whoever from Zillow, the phone when you buy, when you buy leads from TransUnion, you're paying, you're overpaying for these leads. You're paying like 10 times more, maybe 20 times more. And then you're getting leads that are going to hundreds of other places, like right. hundreds of that other is true. people. But if you're a closer, you'll, you have no. a higher chance of converting. So this is what you do. Okay. You create you, your own you, leads. You, you, you buy you you create a free uh <clears throat> pdf right where you have like let's say like what what wh what do you know how to do good maria andrew what do you know how to do good he's all everything create okay create content so andrew's gonna create a seven page pdf on how to create great content so he's gonna be like step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four, step number five, step number six, step number seven. He's gonna create that PDF and then he's gonna, you could even outsource it, get somebody on Fiverr. Is that Fiverr? Yeah. Get somebody on Fiverr that, that is gonna charge you like, a, like five cents on the dollar and they're gonna create this PDF. They're gonna use chat GPT. You could even have a dummy do this, okay? Use chat GPT, you, have somebody on Fiverr uh, do it, create it for you. And then you're gonna you're gonna create this PDF, and then you're gonna create a video. Okay, the video has to be uh, catchy. It has to be like people have to get it, pay attention. It needs a hook, good cover, and then you're gonna post that video. You're gonna run an ad, and you're gonna spend let's say a hundred bucks a day on this ad, <clears throat> and then this this video is gonna go, the ad is gonna ha have people sign up and they're gonna give you their email and their cell phone in exchange for the free PDF. People like f uh, free things, so don't run ads to sell things. Don't buy ads for Zillow, from Zillow and, and TransUnion and Equifax and all these places, please. Uh, or the other the other one, what is it? The money tree or? Lending tree. Lending tree. So create these kind of ads, give something for free to collect emails, to collect data, emails, and cell phones, and you might even ask him, are you interested in buying a house? Yes or no? Do you own a house? Yes or no? Do you have, uh, what state are you in? Oh, okay. But don't ask too many things, but mainly you want a cell phone, email, email, and whatever you're trying to attract, maybe put, do you own a house? Yes or no? Maybe you could ask for their income. Is your income uh, over, are you a business owner? Or just keep it simple. But you run this ad, you collect all this data, and now you have leads that only are being sent to you. Not lead, and, and you're paying like way, way, way less, and you're getting quality leads because they're only going to you, as opposed to buying leads from these big companies that are selling the same lead to hundreds of others that everybody's getting the same leads, everybody's calling the leads, and it becomes like a, like a discount fest. So, that's something that works really good. But then also, marketing, social media is not only, it's not everything. Like right now, if you want to be good, if you want to survive right now, because you you will die right now. If, if you're a, a, like, if you sell things, mm -hmm. you, you're going to die if, if you're not a closer. But you, you can't just be a closer right now. In order to survive from here moving forward, you need five, five things. And you got to be the best in these five things, guys. Check out this reel. Uh, these five things are, you gotta be a master closer, not a salesperson, not, not, not an average seller. You gotta be a master closer. You gotta have a, a killer mindset. You, you have to be killer knowledgeable. You have to have a killer mindset, okay? Killer mindset because times are, 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 are challenging right now. You can't start crying or give up or, or turn in your Lambo, Ferrari, or Rolls Royce, or Bentley because times are tough. Like, you can't be a little bitch. And then number five, you got to be a workaholic. You got to be working 18 hours a day forever. That's so, how you stay ahead. So if you don't have all those five things, you're not going to make it right now. You need to be a mega superstar right now. Being an all-star is not even enough. I know people that they're, they're very knowledgeable. They're closers but they have a weak mindset they don't work and they don't hard. work hard right but you know an another one that i missed another one that i missed is you got to be a genius marketer i don't know if i said that but you got to be a genius marketer if you're not marketing on social media okay, so what are the five because now i'm confused all right 
All right, guys, pay attention again. All right, here, here. Let, let, let me make a. Uh, I want to make, make sure me, I, I, I let, check let, all let the me, boxes. Let, let me make a, Let me make a better uh, a better reel for you guys. It's gonna go viral. So so check it out. Why, why do you want to have a podcast and do these kind of things? Because you're gonna get viral reels that are gonna get you like two million views. Like I have I have re recent ones that are getting like millions of views. I'm getting a lot of new followers. So you'll never run out of clients because social media uh, has 411,000 people entering it a day. That's okay? crazy. So number, the five. Okay, you have to have a killer mindset. You have to be a killer closer. You have to be a killer knowledgeable person, knowledge in your business, killer uh, marketer, and you have to be a killer workaholic. Those five things. You have to be killer in all, the best in all. If you don't have all, all five, you're not going to make it. You could have four of them and suck at marketing, not be on social media, you're That's gonna die. Right. Especially if you're a realtor, because look, the National Association of Realtors, NAR, they did a, a study <laughs> and they had realtors, where do you get all your closings from? Right. In the last 12 months. Right. And they have like door knocking, cold calling, visiting uh, open houses, uh, everything, and then social media. Guess what's the number one? I know. 52% <laughs> of the closings come from social media. And guess what? That's, That's only gonna be 60, 70%, 80%. Everybody's on social media. Social media is growing by the day. It used to be uh, 4.8 billion people on it. Now it's 5 billion in like six months. It's gonna be six and a half billion. It, it's gonna be the whole world on social media. You know what the average American spends on social media a day? Seven hours. Two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> Average American spends two and a half hours on social media a day. I don't know. <laughs> talk, talk, talk about about somebody with knowledge, right? I think it's more than two. Two and a half hours. Average American. I feel like it's like Google people it, are addicted. I'm like, I can't get a hold of them, but they've been on social media for ten minutes. I'm like, hello, knock like knock. Right. That's the average, though, in, the, in America. That's just Americans. That's not the world. That's average Americans. Oh. Uh, the average American spends two and a half hours on social media. Average American. I mean, you spend, you spend way more than that, but the average Negative. American, That is not two even and a half. true. Uh, no, him way more. No, definitely I don't. I, mean, I, I wish I did, I but spend, I don't. I spend two hours just on lives. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. So, so, yeah, I mean... If you're not, you probably it, spend like eight hours on social media. If, if, if you're not spending, if you're not spending at least eight hours a day on social media, then that's why you're broke. You have to know what you're spending, and most people are just scrolling. You gotta be promoting. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be prospecting. You gotta be you, like I send a thousand. What are the three things you need to do? Promote, promote, and promote. <laughs> I I send a thousand DMs a day. Yeah. A thousand. That's crazy. A thousand is a lot of DMs. So I, I just don't get I just don't get it why like it like I'm just gonna become a sales coach. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna dominate all the sales coaches out there. I'm gonna dominate them. Don't be afraid to go for the clothes. I think most people are afraid. You gotta be aggressive. Another thing is you gotta kill the deal. Because most people are like like the biggest mistake sales people make when somebody tells them, I gotta talk to my wife. I gotta talk to my husband. Oh, you know what? Let me get back to you later this evening. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I, I and, and I put an ultimatum on the spot. I tell him, hey, I'm giving you this, this deal right now. And do you want it or not? If not, I'm going to give it to the other person that I have. And, and, and they're going to be like, and, and more than likely, they'll say, oh, just give it to the other person. That's because they were they were not serious. Right. So if, if you just wait, tell them, oh, it's OK. Go, go, go talk to your wife. Uh, uh, I mean, let, let, let her let her caress your, you know, uh, let her ask for her permission. And uh, th then th they're going to go home and they're, they're going to pussy out and they're going to be like, oh, uh, you know, what? Or, or they won't answer. They'll, they'll go ghost. So like if if somebody's going to kill the deal, it's not going to be the wife. I'm not going to let the wife kill it. Right. I'm going to kill the deal on the spot. I'm going to be like, call your wife then. You need her permission? <laughs> call her right now. Be like, hey, baby, honey, uh, do you give me permission to, to uh, buy this? And But I'm, I'm going to kill the deal. Like the deal is not going to be killed by the wife. I'm going to kill the deal. 
So I'm going to be extremely aggressive where they say yes or no. I mean, I think any man should be able to spend their money on whatever they want. No, like if you think it's a good business decision, what if the wife makes more money? Well, then that's then you got to then you got to divorce. Yeah. Like man, hopefully like, you like can if you're, spend that money free. If you're if you're if you're a girl that gro- that goes out with a brokey, <laughs> man, shame on you. C- come get some coaching from me. <laughs> or the other way around. No, if a if if a if a girl is dating or or has a brokey boyfriend or husband, then shame on you. I'm I need I need to give you some coaching, mentorship. I agree. Everyone's broke at the beginning, but how do you not stay broke? I'm st- I'm broke right now. You're always broke because you. Sp- reinvest spend reinvest you always tell me that money is a tool money is not yours you're just taking other people's money right right like michelle took my money last time remember (laughs) a lot of people did you were throwing hundreds all over (laughs) Uh, yeah he does like i have i'm like take i said it's yours i said take your kids out on me or something she was trying to give it back i'm like no that's yours so cute another thing right now is you should never take advice from millionaires Mm-mm. Fuck no! If like, you're broke, do you want to be a brokey? Could. Why would you take advice from a millionaire? Because when you're not a millionaire, you want to know how to be a millionaire. No. Once you're a millionaire, you want to ha- know how to be. A, why? Yeah. Why would Michelle take advice from a millionaire? It depends on the millionaire. Yeah. I take your advice all the time. Yeah, because I'm not a millionaire. I, I would kill myself right now if I was a millionaire. <laughs> like you should never take advice from a millionaire. So nothing to a million. A million. To a million, a million, million dollars is nothing right million. now. I know, I know. People are making, people are making, one million, people are making not a millions. Yeah. People are making millions a month now. It's crazy. Some mm. people are making millions a day. So, do you want to take advice from somebody that makes a million millions a day, or do you want to take advice from somebody that's barely a millionaire? Right. I oh, know. I I see the point. I mean, I think good advice you can get from different people. Regardless yeah, different of kind of advice. I would take. I would take maybe uh, how to be a great parent from a millionaire. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe how to do yoga. Maybe they're yoga instruct- instructors. But I'm not going to take advice on money. Never take money advice from millionaires. Never. Italia was telling me the other day. She's like, oh, yeah, mom, how much millions does Coco Melon make? I'm like, because, <laughs> you know, he's like Coco Melon. So he's researching like Ryan's world and all that stuff. You know, the people that got into it really early on, the YouTube stuff. And Italia's like, Asking us, I thought it was so cute. See, because your kids, they hear everything you're talking about. So, like, we'll talk, and I'm like, dude, what the hell? Even Lululemon, it's like crazy how their net, their worth. It's it's absolutely uh, insane. So I'm like, we're in the wrong industry. <laughs> we should be in the health and fitness industry. <laughs> no, babe. Driven fuel. Imagine if we had like Celsius, like driven fuel. That would be awesome. Well, that that's coming up. So, so you know the biggest difference between uh, tequila. What What's the biggest difference from um, millionaires and billionaires? Mindset. Mm. Well, that that could be one of them, but but millionaires add and subtract, billionaires multiply. Got it. Mm. You know, like like when you have a, a billionaire mindset, you're like, why why am I why am I gonna be selling sixty seven dollar products when I could be selling a hundred thousand dollar products? I think everything works. I could it be just selling, depends on I could who be you're selling, selling $5,000 products. Right. Why am I going to sell uh, $200,000 homes when I could be selling $800,000 homes? Or a million dollar homes. That's home. just common sense to me. Yeah. Like if you're in an area, if you could sell $200,000 homes, you could sell $800,000 homes. Agreed. It might be even be easier to sell the more much expensive easier. homes. Yeah. M- much easier. Less work. And, and bigger fees. Mm-hmm. So like like you you got to start thinking about that like if something's taking the same amount of time, and you could take that time and do bigger deals, why wouldn't you do that? It's the same thing like if you're gonna think small and you're gonna have a little office, why not get a bigger office? It's still gonna be hard. So you got to choose your hard. That's right. I agree with that. Even though nobody's crazy enough to go from. <laughs> Uh, five suites to a whole floor but that's that's a different story <laughs> so i remind them i'm like yep to work get to work <laughs> we're all working over here I'm you, working you, hard. you know like you know it takes the same amount of energy to protect what you have than to get more mm-hmm. like most people they just want to protect what they have 
just get more right get more so so that's why i'm, I'm gonna start doing like two lives in the morning two lives in the night two lives in the morning two lives in the night I'm gonna do fi a five K masterminds every Saturday. <laughs> well, well, I'm, on, on the, so like we're gonna take May Thursdays 10th. off. <laughs> May, May, yeah, I mean we don't we yeah we, we might do that. Yeah. Thursdays is a good day to I take off. No, not for me. So so um, like May mm -hmm. uh, May 10th I'm gonna speak at Brad Lee's event. Mm -hmm. And then May 11th I have the mastermind. Yeah. This weekend we have mastermind all weekend. Mm -hmm. Like it's you you gotta because because look weekends like like weekends what. Well, what are weekends for, Maria? For what are weekends for? God Depends. created God created weekends for the week. <laughs> weekends are for the week. Like that's why when people are like TGI Friday, they're fucking dumb. <laughs> like weekends were created by God for the week. <laughs> no. Like what? What if? What well, if God? What if the weekends? What Sunday. if the weekends you could just focus on making more money? I agree. Weekends I always were say created this. for the week. Eight hours in a day is nothing. That's like nothing. You can literally have a full time job, go home and work on whatever business, and then work more on the weekend. Literally, like it's crazy. But we've always worked like that. Most people don't. Get yeah, but it. I work way more than you. No, you don't. A million no. percent. A thousand percent not. Nobody works harder than me, so. Albert. I work way he, harder he than you. Can't, no, being with the kids, even one full day is a lot of work. Yeah, but that's a different kind this of work. This is easier. <laughs> that's a different kind of work. It is. It's still work. Yeah, but you know what's the hardest it's work? It's nonstop work. You know what's you, you know what's the what's the hard, the the work that ninety nine point nine percent of the people can't do? Make money. If you make money, you could hire somebody to help you with the kids. We do. If you cannot, you can't if, leave if, your kids if, with if you cannot make money Monday through Sunday. Well, people, that doesn't work like people that. People that cannot make money, they they have to take care of their kids right. themselves. I'm saying a day a week, Albert. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, but kids no are fun. Like, like, I, I take care of the kids. For like fun. two minutes. And then he's like, out. <laughs> Don't be acting dumb. Like, <laughs> Literally, I leave him in the pool. I'm just like going to go to the bathroom this, really quick. This, this Saturday, and he's like, check it. Like, where are you? I'm this like, Saturday, take care of the Swim with them. This Saturday, I, I, mm. I taught uh, Berlin how to swim. I taught her how to swim. Don't act dumb. He's like, you're such a good teacher. I'm like, I am a really good teacher. Really good teacher. And I give people confidence that they can do it. Sometimes people just need a little, awesome. a little pat on the back, a little encouragement. You know, that's it. But kids are awesome, yeah. And she was already ready. I'm like, you know how to fucking swim. The same way you swim in the bathtub. I said, this is just a big bathtub, but my hand is right here. Whenever mommy will never let you go under, because she actually. So, funny story. Berlin is so wild. Like my daughter is so crazy. So they were walking out of the pool already. I wasn't there, but, you know, I got the whole scoop. And my bigger daughter that swims like a fish, she's like, let's jump in one more time. So Berlin took off her floaties. They were already leaving. So she runs and jumps in the pool. She didn't even think about it. So she freaked out. And ever since then, she's just been like, she will not go in without floaties. So, but then obviously we already fixed it. This I'm gonna just give me a couple hours. I'll fix it. You know, I wasn't there, so they were already on their way out. But just kids, just you just need to throw them right back in because if not, they get really they get phobias. Yeah, Kelly's next. We gotta teach you that one how to swim because you, you, like when people put uh, fences on the pool, like just throw throw them in. Well, luckily ours has a fence. No, no, a lot of kids drown. It's so sad. Boy, Italia learned how to, to how to how to swim a year earlier than Berlin. Yeah. But but you know like what we were talking about for for people here, the the difference is like when you have all those five things that I mentioned, and also about about like working hard and working a lot of hours. You got to do things you hate so much that you right. you you kind of start liking them. Yeah. Because like I I you're talking about working hard and all the things that I do. Mm -hmm. It it's eighty percent of the things that I do I hate. Right. But I, I do them anyways. Mm -hmm. And I do them so much that I learn to like them. Right. I think you just know that you, you just, that's just your schedule. Like the lives, I have, I have such neck pain because I'm doing the lives and my neck's like going back and forth. You should do yoga forth, with me. Yoga's for girls. I don't do yoga. <laughs> yoga's for girls. It's not. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You'll never about. catch me doing yoga. I told yoga. him my instructor had a big old you want me to do? You want me to do yo abs. yoga? Abs. He's like ripped. He no, babe. This guy, I told you, super. Like he has a big juicy butt. 
Yeah. The legs that are I'm, like. I'm not, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not ga- I'm not gay just for, for everybody's information. But right when when people like do yoga, it's like inner strength. Like it's crazy because mm-hmm. it's super hard. Oh my god, <sighs> and it really is. Yeah, well, I I wouldn't do yoga because yoga is for girls. You wouldn't be able to. That's the difference. I mean, I wouldn't. I if I if if I if I wanted to go look at girls, I'd probably go do yoga. <laughs> go look at girls and gay guys. But I'm not. I'm not gonna do yoga. Okay, it's because you can't. It's not because he men 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 were made to lift weights and have muscles and be stretchy so that your neck doesn't hurt. <laughs> men are powerful. Men okay. men were created to be powerful, provide and and protect. Okay. Great job. So so men are supposed to be in the gym lifting heavy weights. Sprinting hard like like what do you think uh Indians used to do? Why, they were muscular. <laughs> they they would they would sprint, get the fucking animal, kill it and and cook it. And fast for a couple of days yeah. when they <laughs> Yeah. They would yeah. And, and make babies, have sex. So that's that's where men were created for that, to be men. Uh-huh. Not to be feminine. <laughs> right? It depends who you're asking. Well, well <laughs> I men are are masculine, <laughs> uh, tough. They 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 hunt. Yeah. They have sex. My, they they lift heavy weights. My neck always feels better when I do yoga. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay, um, so back to our topic. <laughs> He's away. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, he won't. What do I have to do for you to take a class with me? I'll never take a class. Uh, it, never. It, you could give me a million dollars. I won't do yoga. Okay. No, I, I, yoga. He yoga is a waste. Of, yoga is a waste of time. I'm, he's so stiff, like he's not stretchy <laughs> at all, right? <laughs> I mean, I I come with power. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. No, at all. Like literally, it's so bad. There has to be some sort of. <laughs> Something we is, can is do. This a, is this a comedy fest or what? <laughs> no, it's true. So though. Let, let's get back to, to to the to the subject, like like you like to say. So so it's not funny, like your okay. business will never grow without top line. Mm-hmm. You know what top line is? Top line revenue, yes. And your top line will never grow if they don't know you. Right. So like, you got to get more known. Me? We're talking about like the oh. the the level of uh of uh growth. Right. Like between my account and your account like like my account is growing like crazy I know. crazy fast like it's multiplying That's why I tag him. <laughs> and and yours yours so is, i can steal your, your, your yours is adding so you're adding i'm multiplying oh whatever so remember sometimes remember before you used to try let to me give me advice let me get you used to give me advice oh you shouldn't post this you should post it this way oh maria why'd you post that take this off oh Andrew, Anthony, why, why did he, didn't you cut it uh, right there? But then I said, do it anyways. And I've been like my 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 growth, the insights on my social media look like an erection, like total erection, like massive. Oh God! So like you're gonna ask, like, what do you guys think that you're watching this? Do you think sales right on oh, Albert? You gotta be proper. Don't say certain things. And, I think it depends. And cut it at the right. Or or should I keep being Albert? You think you guys think Albert is right? Because based on my insights and your insights, <laughs> mine look like an erection. You haven't even looked yours, at my yours, yours yours look like a like a little um grasshopper. When jumping. did you look at whatever? When did you look at my insights? Hmm? Y- you wanna compare insights? No. I'm hungry though. <laughs> so hungry. Yeah, but you're I mean still, like <gasps> 102 accounts reached in the last 30 days. 102,000? Yeah. yeah. Well, mine is 6 million. That's good. 102,000? What did I do? Let me see. What what's the what's the percentage? So, let's see. 100,000 100,000 divided and that's because you tagged me. Stupid. You're always trying to take all the credit. Not so, you, good. so you're getting 1 per, she's getting 1% of my engagement. <laughs> Maria, 1 1%. So, she's getting 1% of what I'm getting. So who's right, uh, audience? Who's right? Is Sil right or is Albert right? What What do you guys think? Uh, and Instagram, do you guys think Albert is right or Sil is right? Do you like it when I'm a little bit too raw, too real, or should I tone it down a notch for the softies, for people that get their feelings hurt? What do you What do you think? Comment, 
uh, give me your input. M maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should just change it up. Maybe I should tone it down. We're asking you to change it up. Maybe I should just be nice. Quiet. Focus. Focus. I'm telling people how to make money. I know. Your top line will not grow if nobody knows you. Well, you heard what you I told Alexis be, today. Yeah. I told him to collaborate with that actor. I, 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 I get, I of get that. I have more followers than him. Do you? Of course. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there you go. So, 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 look, look, so you have one percent of my engagement. Whatever. So it's 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 pretty clear who you guys should listen to. So look, my top line has been growing like an erection. So if you want to learn how to do it, listen to me. Okay, you got to create controversial content. Stop worrying about people that are gonna unfollow you. People that are not gonna like it. Right. They're softies. They're brokies. They're not gonna uh, buy, buy from, from you, you anyways. Anyway. So you want to help as many people as you can, but you also can't be worried about people that are softies. Like softies are, are never going to do anything with their life. So like I focus on people on the net. So I'll get 20,000 people to follow me and 5,000 people that unfollow me in a month. That's a 15,000 net followers. Those are the ones I care about. Those are going to be the buyers. Those are going to be the people I can help. And the other people, they're just gonna watch me from the sidelines. They unfollow me, but they still watch me. They watch you the most. I know, it sucks. So, I mean, everybody is, is very certain about like that I should be real and keep doing what I'm doing. I mean, we help a lot of people. And I think unless it's something directed towards you, like someone personally telling you off, I don't understand why people are so sensitive on social media. Like if I see something that I don't agree with, I don't take it personal. I don't get mad. Like, I really don't care, you know? So it's interesting to think that grown people get offended over somebody's post. It's kind of like, I guess if the shoe fits, they have to wear oh, it. Oh, absolutely. That's why <laughs> people think that I'm talking about them. Right. I'm and like, I don't even generally speaking I don't even, to the world. I don't even know them anymore. Yeah, right. Like, people, people, that, leave, people that leave my life or my businesses... I don't even know them the like instantly. We don't have time. Right? The moment they walk out of the door, I'm like, right. I forgot you, unfollowed. I don't know you anymore. And not like like that, you're, like that. Right. That's me. But it's it's because it's because because we only have time for what's here. I, I, absolutely, it. but but this is it. But they're not they're not here anymore. They're not giving me any value. They're not doing anything for my life. They're not part of my company. They're not part of my life. Why would I waste a minute, a right, second right. in them? You're not bringing me any value anymore. You're gone. Right. You're gone. Well, go go get value somewhere else. I need to use my minutes for uh, Sil, for Andrew, for Maria, for my kids, for people that are part of the every company. We need second I don't, of every I, I don't give a shit about people that are not part of my life anymore. Right, right. And unfollowed. this to everyone. Unfollowed. Yeah. You're unfollowed. I, I don't want to hear from you, know you. Heck. I'll block it on the cell phone just in case one day they get drunk and they try to call me. I don't want to hear from you. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> silly. You're being silly. He's being I'm extra. Not, I'm not being silly. I mean it. <laughs> no, but it, it's I mean just, it. So that's the biggest problem with people. Time, we never get it back, right? So, so many people just and it's so easy all to give day. It. It's so easy to give time, you know, and it's hard to say no. You know, you have to learn how to say no. Just no, 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 no. And that's why for us, it's like, if you're not part of, one of the things we're doing, like, there's just absolutely no extra time, right? There's no extra minutes, you know? And, and there's a lot of people that they just waste their minutes. And then, unfortunately, they don't realize they've been wasting their life away until it's too late. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, man, like, I messed up, you know? But at that point, it doesn't matter and it's too late, you know? And wish everybody well because people come and go, you know, that's part of life. Everybody comes and goes. Some people will stay. Some people won't. And that's just how it goes, right? But I always feel like the right people are always going to stay and they're always going to be in your life, you know? And you just have to kind of roll what, with that. What, what, what do you... Now, right now in this economy, that's one of the worst ever. Since 1995, do your research. Worse than 2008 right now. Worse than 2008. Yet, there's people making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But the half percenters. There's a huge so, disruption. So it's who crazy. are who are the people that are scared to spend money? The ones that don't are not confident in their ability to make money. Yeah, those that can produce mm -hmm. are scared chickens to spend money. Right. Those that could produce, they're not scared to spend money. Right. 
because money is easy. Money, you just take it from other places. So only those that can produce are the ones scared to spend money. Right. The ones, the ones that are like, I had like the, um, I'm, I'm gonna give a, a shout out here. Uh, I have, uh, so, so, uh, so Jared, he got me this belt. I didn't even know this brand, but it's a B for a billion. And, and this belt is not cheap. I didn't even know this belt, but I looked it up, Jared. And, and it's a nice belt, it's not cheap. It's nice. And what is it called, Bally's? It Bally's, yeah. But Jared is producing. Yeah. Those that produce are not scared to spend money. He also upgraded his, uh, he moved to uh, WeHo. Yeah. And because he's not scared to spend money because he produces. He's confident Those that in can't his produce, to produce are the ones scared to spend money. I have the Long Beach team. Those that can't produce or those that are not, they don't have the right work ethic. No, 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 no. Those that can't produce are scared to spend money. Uh, the Long Beach team, they brought me a nice bag. Got, they got me a nice little Louis bag. Like 4,000 plus bag. I know, it's really nice. Those that could produce, those that produce are not scared to spend money. Right. Those that can produce are scared to spend money. Right. So we got to get you guys producing. We got to get you girls producing. How do you produce? Like, instead of criticizing winners, people that are producing. People that are winning. Then then uh, you, got, you guys got to listen. You guys got to stop crit criticizing and start applying. So what what is Albert doing? What are those people that are making money right now doing? Okay, maybe I should do some of that. Oh, you know what? But... They, they say bad words. Okay, don't say bad words, but just get the stuff that works. <laughs> get the stuff that works. Like, do it. Right. Execute. Right. Like, one thing that- Add your well, own, like, spice to one it. One thing that Jared's doing right now, Yeah. he's doing lives five times a week, maybe even more. Every single evening, he's doing a live, doing a live, doing a live, doing a live. Well, most of his business right now is from social media. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Majority of it. So, like, it works. So, social media, remember, 52% real estate agents and loan officers are getting their business from social media right now. And it's only gonna grow. So if you are old school and you're watching this and you're like, I refuse to use social media. I refuse to use technology. And, and then remember like CRMs, you gotta learn how to use them too because no CRM is gonna close your deals or get you business. Right. CRMs are just to store your business, to mm -hmm. store your database. Mm -hmm. So stop worrying about technology and I need a CRM. And first, get attention. Second, be a closer. You also have to have a strong mindset. You gotta be knowledgeable right now or else you can't compete against those that have everything. And then look, if you weren't working hard in 2021, the easy times, and now you are forced to work hard, you don't know how to work hard. It's not gonna work, you have no chance. No but chance. if you were working hard uh, forever, for a decade, for years, then the only difference you gotta do right now is you gotta cut people. Cut people from your life that are not providing value. That way you could say no to dinner, no to lunches, no right. to family gatherings, no right. to this, no to that, no to phone calls. No. Th that's why you need to unfollow and stop answering back text messages from people that are not part of your company anymore. And also uh, stop answering phone calls from people that are not part of your company anymore and ignore them because because those people are a waste of time. They decided to leave, so farewell, wish them the best, and hasta luego, amigo. And then focus <laughs> on so your minutes on money-making activities. Yeah. So that way you're focused and you're producing. And like instead of answering some of those phone calls, messages, go on the live for an hour, close some deals, promote, 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 prospect, prospect. Go meet strangers, go meet new people. Like today, like every minute that I'm that I'm alive, I'm just creating something. Like I'm just, yeah. or, or I'm doing things that I enjoy. Like I, I love doing a lot of cool things. So don't waste your time with people that are not part of your life or your business anymore. Por favor. <laughs> He's talking to me. I know, I can be more obvious. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I'm super busy. Unfortunately, you know, the minutes are counted. So it's not that I don't want to, it's just that I have a lot of people to cater to and a lot of people that are my responsibility or that I feel that I have to help, you know? And like he said, it's like you're either on the boat or you're off the boat. It's super simple. We're sailing. And, and, and now let, let me close it out with these two things, all right? You got, you got to get this, uh, you got to start thinking this way. If you break even by advertising, 
it's a win. You don't want to lose, even if you lose a little bit of money, it's a win because you're going to get more known. And guess what? When you go live, when when you uh, go to events, more people are going to know f about you and more people are going to buy from you. So if you're breaking even, even if you're losing a little bit of money, spend a dollar to make a dollar. Spend a hundred bucks to make a hundred bucks. Spend a thousand to make a thousand. Spend 50 grand to make 50 grand because you're going to grow your audience and you're going right. to be known. Remember, people don't buy from the best. People don't buy from the most experienced. People buy from who they know. Why do you think um, Ryan Garcia makes so much money? Because he gets attention. He surely knows crazy, how to get gets like attention. You. <laughs> so you you gotta you gotta find a it's way cool. to get into people's heads and have them be so like, what is he gonna do next? What is she gonna do next? I you know you know She's how people muscles, get yeah, yeah they, they're they're like they my, they're my do. biggest fans. Yeah. So spend money to make money. If you have if you're gonna create your own event, you're gonna have an event. The event cost you a hundred grand. If you make a hundred grand, it's a win. Now you gain like 500 or 1,000 real followers that are gonna buy from you in the future. Um, and, and a month later, you're probably gonna collect an extra 100 Gs just because those people are gonna buy from you. So that's very important. Now, the lastly here to end, and if you wanna add to this is, right now, in these uncertain times, besides be having those five things, that's why you need these five things because you gotta keep the cell alive. Right. So if you're a newbie, if you don't have these five things, get a mentor or get a team leader or, or make less of a commission, get paid a little bit less, but have a general, have a leader, a, a leader that's gonna be there to help you keep the deal alive because in today's world economy where, where people are watching the news, they're around negative people family, friends, they, they have these stupid uh, weekends for the week, for weekends were created for the week. So they're having their weekends with the week, family members, friends, and the week people are telling them, hey, you shouldn't buy a house right now. It, you know what, the market's gonna crash. Uh, they don't even know what's going on. Like the market actually crashed they don't even uh, own a house. last year. <laughs> uh, and, and they're like, hey, uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. And they're giving them advice uh, about real estate, or business, and those people are brokies, family members, uh, friends, from the weekends. Like, then then Monday they call you and they're like, hey, um, you know what, I thought about it, uh, loan officer or a realtor, I I, I, I wanna cancel. You know, my I was hanging out with my fucking, uh, I was fucked up with my cousin, my loser cousin, and he's really broke. He told me I should cancel because it's not a good time to buy. He owns no real estate, he's pretty dumb but he told me don't buy right now, it's a bad time. So I, I wanna cancel. And then they're gonna cancel. So you gotta keep the sale alive. You gotta make sure that right now you're following up, even when the, when the deal is open. When you have an escrow open, you gotta call your clients every day. Send them a message, text message. Be like, just like, pretend you have a girlfriend that, that you're in love with and you're like, oh my God, I never wanna miss this girlfriend. Think about like how many times you're texting her, she's texting you, you're going back and forth, or you're newly married and you're like texting, oh baby, yeah, I love you. And you gotta, you gotta follow up every day, keep the love uh, awake. You gotta keep the sale alive and you gotta communicate with your clients and you gotta be let them know, hey sweetie client, Maybe not sweetie, but hey, hey, client, uh, thinking about you. I just want to tell you how excited I am about your your property that you're buying <laughs> because it's such a great deal. Just wanted to let you know that I'm working hard on your deal. I don't have an update today. Boom. Next day, maybe give him a courtesy call. Hey, you know what? Uh, they don't answer. Leave him a voicemail. Hey, just wanted to let you know I have no update, but good news. You know, rates dropped a little bit and I locked you in with the low rate. Next day. Just send them a text message. Hey, you know what? Appraisal came in higher than your purchase price. Great news. So you got, you got to keep your clients entertained and alive or else they will cancel. It's, yeah. not, it's not enough right now just to open an escrow and forget about it. You got to follow up, keep people Over -communicate. Uh, happy. Over communicate. Over communicate, 100%. That's the secret. That's so, the secret. So th there's a lot more. I can go on here for like another two hours giving you guys all the secrets on how I close the biggest deals, how easy it is to make so much money, but 
you got to go out there and do the work because I can't do the work for you. Like still can't do the work for you. You guys got to go out there and execute, execute. because nobody is going to execute for you. It's not about your commission split. You know, I know people that are not part of my life anymore and they haven't closed deals in September. It's not the company. It's not the commission, the, the split. It's you. It's your work ethic. It's your mindset. It's your knowledge. It's your, your closing skills. Your environment. It, it's, it's your uh, marketing skills. It's you. There's no reason to have a CRM if you don't have any escrows, if you don't have any deals. So go out there and execute. Take these gold nuggets and go there and apply them. And once you apply them, uh, if you want to reach out, you want to you want to come back to the winners club and join the winners, the winner circle, the real one. Reach out.